Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. This time we will create a new circuit board shield for stepper motor control without any programming knowledge required. So let's get started. Today's circuit board will be built around the A4988 micro-stepping bipolar stepper motor driver IC from Allegro Microsystems. And I will show you the best circuit setup that I find to drive a NEMA 17 stepper motor. First verse, we need to learn the inputs and outputs of the A4988 in order to properly interface with it. Back into the circuit datasheet, this integrated circuit is compatible for 3.3 or 5 volt logic supply, so you could interface with it using any microcontroller of your choice. Since we will not consider programming in this project, then we just need to supply the control pins with a 5 volt logic. The circuit has an output capacity that could reach 2 amps at 35 volt DC per stepper coil, which is very satisfying to easily drive a NEMA 17 stepper motor. We will not consider the micro-stepping configuration in this project, but you still can take a look at the full circuit pinouts through its datasheet. I checked the best circuit setup provided by Polulo on their website. Since we will only control the speed and direction of the stepper, then the important pins for us are the step and direction pins. Pulling up high the direction pin will switch the stepper rotation direction, and if we generate a square wave signal on the step pin, then we can control the step's frequency of the motor, and this way, we control its rotation speed. The larger the square wave, the slower the stepper speed. I managed to generate the square signal through the NE555 integrated circuit, which could be configured in a stable mode to generate a square wave signal with the possibility to control the signal frequency pulses through a potentiometer. I moved it to Altium Designer to draw the schematic of my circuit board, and I arranged the schematic into four main blocks. The main power input, the 5 volt regulation stage, the NE555 from where we will get the square wave signal, and the A4988 circuit setup that I got from Polulu. Mainly the power input has to be in between 8 to 35 volt DC, and the logic control supply will be 5 volt DC generated through this voltage regulator. We will get an adjustable square wave signal from NE555 through this potentiometer, and the output signal will go straight to the step input pin of A4988. At this level, I also use it a slight switch button to control the motor rotation direction. You can get all the schematic parts from Octopart. I found it very handy to download whatever component you need and bring it directly to Altium Designer. Especially for the parts 3D models, which I find it difficult for me to search or design some specific 3D components. After completing the circuit setup, I then transformed the schematic into a PCB design and I distributed the parts around this PCB form shape. No wonder, I managed to make the circuit looks like a shield mounted directly to the backside of the stepper motor, so I followed the NEMA 17 stepper dimensions to draw the PCB outline. I then placed the stepper coils connector to the top of the board, which helps to directly wiring the stepper to the shield with the minimum wires length. The power jack connector is at the board side, and here we have the speed potentiometer and the slide switch for direction control. Make sure that you keep the parts of the same block closer together in order to help you routing the design. I consider it to add a ground copper pore area around the board outline to help dissipating the heat coming from the A4988 circuit. Our design is fully ready, and here is how it looks in 3D view. I then generated the Gerber files of my circuit design and I moved it to JLCPCB to place my order. You can select whatever manufacturing settings of your choice. I selected the black solder mask color and the golden nickel surface finish. For sure, you can get the board assembled by JLCPCB and ready to go from out of the box. In my case, I will assemble the board myself, so I ordered the stencil of this design to assist me on the assembly. Six days later, I got my boards very well manufacturing and deliver it to my lab and here are the boards in black color and with their inic surface finish. I got the stencil delivered in the same parcel as well and it looks good. 
Everything looks ready, now it's time to assemble. I used the stencil to place the solder paste on my parts pads and for these tiny pads the stencil is truly a helping technique as you can see guys it distributes the solder paste equally with the precision. I placed the parts on the board and then took it to my hot plate for assembly. Do not forget to clean the board with some flux removal solvent after finishing the assembly. I then soldered the terminal block and cut the pins of the board backside to avoid contact with the stepper housing which could cause a short circuit. Then I covered these pads with isolative tape and the shield looks ready. Here we have the main jack connector, the stepper terminal block the power on and off slide switch, the speed control potentiometer, and the direction slide switch. Here is the stepper that I will use, already has short wires, all what it takes is connecting the stepper coil ends to the shield terminal block following the label on the shield. Then I unscrewed the stepper housing and placed the shield to the stepper backside and screwed the housing again. As you can see guys, the shield size fits very well to the stepper dimensions. Now I used a 9V DC power supply through this jack connector and once I power on the shield, the stepper starts spinning with a controllable speed that could be adjusted through the potentiometer. The direction is also controllable using this slide switch and this way we successfully completed the stepper shield making. That's it for today guys, I will be waiting for your thoughts about this shield on the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time. <music>